Hey everyone, welcome to Watch It Paint It. We're going to be doing an unboxing video of this month's model box. If you don't know what model box is, it's a monthly subscription service to a box all about miniatures and the, the sort of hobby area we are in. It's like Loot Crate, but for models and for painting sort of hobbyists. Now, I will put a link in the description below to where I explain that a bit more in detail if you're interested and aren't sure what Loot Crate is and whether this is for you, I'll explain it in there. But let's open this mum's. I thought, you know, I thought, I've seen other people get this this month, and I thought mine might have got lost, and it did turn out, actually, the postman had put it in the garden for me, so it was lost, and I had to go on a massive hunt for it, so, oh, I suppose we should open it first, there we go, hopefully we don't need that anymore, now, are we ready, steady, well, let's go, and there you go, that was why I mentioned being lost, because I remembered it was lost was the um theme of this month what is lost going to be about so in my head i feel like it's going to i don't want to look i never do if you've seen these before i tried to not spoil it for me i, I like the surprise too so here we go uh warning spoilers sorry probably should have said that before uh i feel like it might be lost like the the, the series like on an island that sort of thing but let's have a look so first of all you get a little Packet of Haribo, can't complain. Um, not massively fussed about candy myself. Sometimes I have it. This time, that's for Benson. Just some cola bottles. Excellent. What is this? So this is serious play. Personalised and unique model scenery. And that's their URL there. That's like some fancy pants, grass and plants. Oh, lovely. So... Hopefully you can just put that on the base and blend it in with some normal grass and you'll be able to get some planting. That's interesting. I, I've mentioned in previous videos when I've done the unboxing, I'm really, really, really keen on the basing material because I don't often do bases. If you've seen my content, you're aware I just often you paint it black. So I'm really excited when they send things like this. And I've never seen this ever. So that's one of the great benefits of these subscription boxes, right? Like the things you've just never seen. I wouldn't, I've never seen this and I probably would never have bought it, but now I have it, I 100% will be using this. So it tells you a bit about their site and they get you get discounts when you buy bigger, bigger items. Cool. Unique dioramas, tufts, lots of static grass, that sort of thing. So let's see what else we got. So that's pretty, pretty cool. I like that. We got, oh cool, I love uh, anamorphic Snake Man, Heritor. I don't know what exactly that is. Well, that's pretty cool. Look at this. It's like a little, oh, that's hard to see. Apologies. Little snake. Hopefully, you can just make that out. It's quite shiny. It's pewter, so he's a metal y model. But I've not had any trouble painting those myself. And he's an archer. Love it. I love the, I still haven't done the, the Fox Wizard. I'm so busy all the time. But now there's a, a rogue. Or a, you know, an archer snake. So I'm enjoying that. He will be appearing in Zombie Side in the future. So I will look forward to painting that. Hopefully, do a tutorial, show you my custom card. So what's this? This is Dangerous Dames. All oh, right. So this presumably they're all women. I uh, see. It does feel a bit like Lost, like on an island. Maybe not like the TV show, but this was like a lizard man from some sort of creepy island, and these are. Daring adventures of far-flung locations with dashing heroes. So these are all female hero models. They've, they're modern-ish because they've all got guns at least, but they look sort of World War II era. Can't tell what's that under her gun. Is that something you're supposed to cut off? Or so that's that's cool. So you've got one, two, three, four, five female 28 mil-ish models, I would say. That's quite cool. I don't know what I'd use those for. I don't have a game to play. I think there's a lot of bits to remove. I think they're to hold the model together during sort of transit and stuff, uh, which a lot of you are probably used to trimming models. I just I'm used to seam on and then coming completely done. And then we've got a Gigantor what Gigantoraptor <laughs> Gigantoraptor. Something like that, Gigantoraptor. There we go. Five hundred times later, that's a little dinosaur model. What's this? Oh, it tells you when he lived. Oh, is this real? Giant thief. 
period. It must be a real dinosaur, right? That I don't know anything about. Cool. Well, maybe I can use that in um, Dinosaur Island. Yeah, maybe. And isn't there a Jurassic Park game coming out in the near future? Uh, and then Brilliant Yellow. So this is by Instar. I've got some of those paints in the um, Acid Drop box that I get that does the paints. And I, I quite like these paints. These have been... I used the three or four reds that they sent, and I've I like them. And they've got those safety lids, so Sophie can't accidentally open them. She's not strong enough yet. And I'm always really, really keen to try yellows because you know maybe one day we'll find one that's actually good. You know, you can believe. And then Arctic white, you can't go wrong with having a white, right? Like it must be. You can see it's white. It's quite bright, and under these lights, you can't go wrong with white either. So that's handy. I, they, they always give give you a couple of paints by the. By the seam of it because that's been uh, every single one I've got so far is two paints these are the best two paints yet that I'm always keen to try new yellows and white white and black you just always need tons of don't you you can use it for everything once you've got white you can lighten any paints you can paint things white so it's pretty good so I'll just pause for a minute I will have a flick through here just in case there's any exciting information I obviously don't know because I don't know very much and sometimes this little pamphlet tells you something very very useful so back in a moment Right, I have returned. I have flicked through this. So the only extra information is this: these are pulp figures. Offers the best pulp genre miniatures in the industry. I don't know what pulp genre is. Somebody let me know that in the comments below. But these apparently are the best in the industry. I did mention I'm not entirely sure what I would personally use these ones for because I just don't play any games like this. However, it's always useful for me. You know, I've got a painting channel, so <laughs> if I ever need to paint this type of miniature i've got some in standby and the other thing is they can easily be giveaways on um on the patreon or, or the youtube channel you know people like getting stuff so then it goes on to explain this frost frost, frost grave ghost i'm not even going to bother trying to pronounce that there you go <laughs> but this is actually a uh, what did it say it was a new skirmish game by Osprey Publications and North Star Miniatures. Never heard of either of them and haven't heard of the game. But that's quite cool. So there's a game. So it's given you a model from a game. If you play that, fantastic. If not, you know, I'm just going to make custom cards. So it's 28 mil by the look of it. And it'll, it's going to be amazing. I want my uh, little animal humanoids in my game. So he can go alongside the the Fox, Rocks Fox by Model Box when I get that done. Dinosaur, it just tells you it's a tiny dinosaur. And then this is cool. These guys do make lots and lots of different crazy tufts, multiple colors. You know, that's, as I said right at the start of the video, super, super stoked to, to add some of those to the bases, probably add some to the larger models from the, the zombie side abominations, that style thing. And then, as I mentioned, you, I've seen Instar before from the Asset Drop monthly subscription, and they're up and coming. They're in the UK, and they try to near, near match, if not perfect matches, to loads of Citadel paint, and at a lower price, apparently. Uh, they did certainly do smaller bottles. Those were 20 mil bottles. So these are actually larger than the standard bottle, right? I think the standard is um, 17, so this is 20. But I've seen them do 12 mil, I think it was, or 10 mil, which is nice because I don't really get through paint that fast. So I'd rather it just took up less space. And that's it, guys. Next month's is the post-apocalypse. I'll put a link in the description below to Modelbox. And I've got a discount code below as well gets you 10% off if you use that and make an order and that sort of thing. Hope you enjoyed watching it. Thank you very much for stopping by and I will see you again soon.